Welcome to show two of 9 a.m. to 5 a.m. I'm your host, John J. Ransom, Futrell. Um, Once again, welcome. I uh, hope you enjoyed the first show. Those of you who have listened to it, if you have not listened to it, I would recommend going back to listen to it. Uh, once again, 9 a.m. to 5 a.m. is about living your dreams rather than chasing your dreams. However, with that being said, I will be covering a variety of topics. Uh, tonight's topic is is haters doubters non-believers and lack of support so the reason i chose to cover these topics is because as an artist or as a person in general these are things that we have to contend with when we're trying to live our dreams um because often when your dreams do not seem to be immediately happening uh, other factors start to influence you and start to influence uh, your decisions your energy Uh, Your love, your passion, and how you overall feel about your life and the direction in which it's going. So that's the reason that I wanted to go over this topic in particular. So first of all, what is a hater? Well, a hater varies, to be 100% honest with you. Uh, But from, you know, my perspective in a general term, a hater is someone that sees you doing something uh, positive or on the verge of doing something positive and they basically do not give you credit at all. Um, you know, it's like one popular uh, meme or quote. It's like they'll see you walk on water, but say the only reason you're walking on water is because you can't swim. Or say the only reason you're successful is because of some type of other factor. So that's what a hater is. What is a doubter? A doubter differs from a hater. The reason I say a doubter differs from a hater is because someone that doubts you can be a hater however for the most part someone that's a hater kind of recognizes that you're accomplishing something it's just that they're in denial about it a doubter is somebody that that just overall doubts your abilities you know no matter what you show them um hating and and doubting can kind of be on the same level but still very different i'll explain why uh in a couple minutes um what is a non-believer a non-believer once again, there's a variation of a doubter or a hater, but a non-believer is someone that just overall isn't even trying to hear what your dream is, isn't trying to understand what your goals are, uh, doesn't even comprehend your objectives. Um, For the most part, haters and doubters often come from a very, like varying places. Uh, It could be immediate friends and family, associates, or whoever. Uh, Usually non-believers or someone I would consider a non-believer is someone close to you that sees you putting in all the work and, you know, really living your dream and doing what you love every single day, seeing you work endlessly and just doesn't believe in you. So they don't support. They may have some type of means to help you get to where you need to get to, but they still will not support just because they don't believe in what you're doing. That is what a non-believer is. So with all that being said, uh, what really is lack of support? Well, lack of support doesn't have to do with any type of uh, monetary things, although as artists, entertainers, or as people in general, even business people, uh, we all need funds. We all need help in some form or fashion. A lack of support can be as simple as you put out a 99 cents single or 99 cents book, and someone knows this. They see you constantly telling people. They see you constantly posting. And then yet, they'll tell you they support but won't even try to pay for it. They'll automatically want a discount or they'll try to pull the, oh, we're family or we're friends type of thing. And that's really not showing support at all. Because when you put your blood, sweat, and tears into something, you know, you need all the support you can get. I mean, if you create a product and you sell one of those things, guess what? Someone supported you. Someone showed you that they support and believe in your product and what you're doing. Oftentimes, we don't always get that type of support that we need. And I think that shows more than anything. So, all that being said, what comes, what, you know, comes with what I'm saying? Like, what, what's the point of it? Well, my point is this. You know, all the categories have differences, in my opinion. Although they can all be put into one kind of group. However, what I really want to say is this. 
no matter who's hating, no matter who's doubting, no matter who doesn't believe in you, no matter who doesn't support you, you have to believe in yourself. You have to not doubt yourself. You have to understand that your biggest support comes from you. First and foremost is about what you believe in. It's not about what everybody else believes in because everyone's not going to see your vision. Everyone's given different visions. We're all geniuses in different ways. So that being said, do not deny your genius because someone cannot see your genius or understand it. That's your responsibility. And with that, also, I want to say, you know, as an artist, as a person in entertainment, as a person that owns a business, I've been there where I've used haters, doubters, non-believers, and lack of support as fuel. And to this day, I still kind of use it. However, there's one lesson that I learned from that is this. Do not use that as your sole purpose or your sole motivation or the, or the sole amount of energy that you use to fuel your passion because what happens when then people start believing what happens when you start getting supporters and, and you start gaining an audience you start to lose that energy because your passion isn't based upon love it's not based upon doing what you're doing because you love it anymore it's based on strictly proving this person wrong or that person wrong and when you do that your motives become um i guess you could say uh What's the correct word? I'm talking off the top of my head. Don't mind me. It's no script or anything. Um, your motives basically basically become jaded. You know, at, at when you first started writing or when you first started making songs or music or when you first started uh, some type of project or inspiring people, it was about the love for it. You were passionate about it. You, you woke up every day. It was the first thing you thought about. Before you went to sleep, that was the last thing you thought about. And all you could think about is what you're going to do the next day. How are you going to improve? How are you going to get better? And then it becomes, no, I have to prove this person wrong because they said I couldn't do it. Or I have to prove that person wrong because they said I couldn't do it. Watch, I'm going to prove them wrong. I'm going to prove them wrong. I'm going to prove them wrong. And then what happens? What happens when you prove them wrong? Anything you love cannot continuously keep going forward or keep progressing if it's done with hate. See, that's what haters, doubters, and non-believers do to you. They take your love and they create hate out of it. Do not allow them to do that. You do not want it to backfire on you. You do not want to get to a point where everything becomes so incredible because of fuel that you have from haters and whoever... And then all of a sudden you burn out because you just don't have that motivation anymore. And I'm saying this from personal experience because I've been through it. I published my first two books at 19 and 21 and was doubted. I went on and got signed a few years ago and was doubted as an artist. And even that situation didn't pan out the way I wanted it to be. But you know what? I'm still going. And that's not to toot my own horns to say that I had to learn myself that it's not about other people, it's about me. And as a result of me learning this lesson, I was able to go ahead and publish two more books. I was able to go ahead now currently working on another album. I still run five websites. I still, I still do all these things. Why? Not because people are doubting me and I need to prove them wrong, but because I love myself and I love my passion that much that I'm going to keep going. Like I said before, 9 a.m. to 5 a.m., is really my philosophy on how hard I work. Those are my hours, and sometimes it goes beyond 5 a.m. Or even if I'm not immediately working on a project, I'm thinking, I'm researching, I'm trying to find out how I can make myself better, how I can improve. This is my way of giving back to you because I don't ever plan on charging for this. This is really me sitting here and saying, like, look, I'm an artist, I'm an entertainer, I'm a businessman. That's what I do, that's my profession. That's how I live my life. That's how I pay my bills. However, I'm saying like, I'm not a millionaire. Nowhere near. But what I'm trying to tell you is, is that if I can live my dreams, you can live your dreams as well. Do not let anyone stop you from doing what you have to do. Your dreams are as significant to you. Your passion is significant to you. Whatever you're passionate about, that's your soul speaking to you. That's not just some hobby or some talent. Like it's, it's much deeper than that. Whatever skill you attain is because you worked for that. And those skills, usually some way or another, whether you realize it or not, have to do with your passion, have to do with your sole purpose. So do not stop pursuing that. Stop chasing your dreams and fucking live your dreams. Stop letting these people stop you. 
I don't care whether it's family. I don't care whether it's boyfriend, girlfriend, a best friend, whoever. Can't nobody stop you from your dreams but you. Can't nobody shatter or stop your vision but you unless you allow them to. Keep living your dreams. Once again, this is John J. Ransom Futrell. Um, thank you for tuning in. I'm actually going to disappear from uh, my current location for about a week and go on a mini vacation. So I will be doing more podcasts. Uh, so stay tuned. Um, find me on Periscope or follow me on Twitter at Esoteric Diamond. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram at JRansom, the creator. If you want to email me, talk about anything, my email is JRansom. So J R A N S O M 25 at gmail.com. Um, any suggestions, any topics, things of that nature, uh, you, can, uh, you can contact me there and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Either way, peace and love. Um, have a great, motivated week. Keep living your dreams. Stop chasing them. Live them, man. Don't let nobody stop you. Peace and love.